<laughs> Splendid, my King Knight, crown jewel of the Order of No Quarter. Spectre Knight did well to bring you to me. Now, your highness, what would you issue as your first proclamation? Shred every Joustus card. The King of Cards competition is over. The only crown that matters is mine. It shall be so. The armies of the Tower of Fate prepare to march at this very moment. Now come, your majesty. Finally, let us forge a new kingdom in fire. And that's the game. That is Shovel Knight, King of Cards. Oh, we're, we're getting a scene here. Oh, she destroyed the airship. And uh, it seems like Propeller Knight has taken over the airship. The House of Justice! An explosive fad ends. And it's all destroyed. Tropel Pond! Submerged into hiding. And away goes the Tropel King to sink beneath the depths. The armor outpost. Setting up shop. Wait, Mr. Hat's there? Oh, that's right. He is at the, uh, the armor outpost, isn't he? Not the, uh, not the village. I thought it was the village. Tower of Fate, Spectre Knight. The hunt continues. So, wait, this was, like, in the middle of his run? I'm confused. Is this before or after Spectre Knight? Because I thought it was after, but they're implying not. All right, the Iron Whale and Treasure Knight. Laying claim to the sea. So he set up the angler and uh, buried him under. Yes, I set up a trap for whoever may come this way. The Hall of Champions. Fencing in phantoms. In you go. Including the phantom striker? Oh, he's the one that actually puts him in there? So this is how we set up to do Shovel Knight's run. But back at the homestead... Caring for the betrayed, which is everybody. But like, there's characters here that didn't exist in Shovel Knight's run. Uh, Birders Bluffs. Accepting an invitation. And all the, uh, the knights chose to go along, except for Black Knight who likes hiding in bushes instead. And away go all the Joustus cards, never to be played again. Please, my boy, be reasonable now. No, I am through being reasonable. Now I'm your king. If you need some coin, you can sweep the floor. <laughs> have one. Oh dear, what is it that we have recreated and where shall I go? Don't worry, you can stay in King Knight's old room. It seems like he has plenty of space in this big castle of his. But that's my room! Er, I mean, fine, live in the filth of my former home. I have a castle and kingdom to tend to. I suppose I've lost everything. But as long as I behold you, darling, I'm a rich man. Off we go then. Sorry, your pair of pets are busy guarding my parapets. I can't be running a public ferry, you see. <sighs> Fine then. Well, take good care of everything I've created here.
It looks like you finally got your kingdom, King Knight. I hope it was all worth it. Mom, wait! Mom! Well, finally, the riffraff and my mom are gone. Time to get to work, my loyal subjects. We're about to make some big improvements around here. But not in his fighting capabilities. Those get knocked down a ton. And that is King of Cards. And I've gotten a lot of feats out of that. Uh, but yeah, this is by far the longest uh, run of Shovel Knight that we have done. Um, it's easily twice as long as any other campaign. And I honestly don't know how to feel about that. There's one part of me that says I like it. There's another part of me that says if it, I would have liked it more if it wasn't for Joustis. And to be honest, you can just kind of skip Joustis. It's entirely optional, but it was there, so I felt the need to go through it. Um, so as a result of doing all of that, it did feel a little long to me, which probably meant that it was a little bit repetitive, because Joustis especially was. Um, kind of going back and forth between Joustis and the levels. Uh, was a little weird, but yeah, the um, the game's good. Right? It's not like it's bad, but I wouldn't say it is my favorite by any means. I would say that this is possibly my like second worst. I, I think it goes um, Specter Knight, Shovel Knight, King Knight, Plague Knight. I, I did not like Plague Knight all that much, but um, this suffers from a lot of things that prequels uh, suffer from. It sets up the story in a way that doesn't quite make sense. There's lots of enemies that suddenly disappear. There's lots of tactics that the enemies use that disappear. Uh, everything gets easier as you go forward in time, right? This was the hardest DLC that they did. Uh, I would say it was much harder than Plague Knight. Um, it also suffered from, you know, just kind of rinsing and repeating of what was being done before. Uh, with the same armor setups that were in previous games, in previous runs. Uh, the, the heirlooms that were nice, but completely unnecessary. They didn't really add anything to my strategies because I didn't need to use them. Uh, but overall, I had fun playing it. Um, I don't know if I were to come back to Plague Knight, or sorry, if I were to come back to Shovel Knight as a whole, if this would be high on my list of things to do, would be King Knight run. Um, I think it would be Spectre Knights and Shovel Knights that I wanted to do again. And King Knight, it's, it was good to do once, but I don't think it, was, it, it would be something that I would do again. Um, but I'm glad that I did it. All right, let's take a look at my record. Uh, I died, I'm sure, a few times. Yeah. The fact that, like... He shoulder bashes. It was awkward to get used to, and I'm never sure I actually fully got used to it, but I was able to get through everything at the end of the day. There are so many levels in this one, and I don't know how to feel about that. I kind of liked the longer levels. They felt more grueling, and this one kind of felt like uh, shorter levels um, because they were starting to run out of ways to use certain mechanics, so they would just introduce a lot of new mechanics, which was nice. I do enjoy new mechanics, but it just felt like every level um, wasn't necessarily building on knowledge I already had. It was just introducing a new mechanic that may or may not ever come up again. Um, except for Slippery Summit. Like the ice. I did not like the ice. So there were some good things about it, some bad things about it. It's more of a matter of taste than anything, I think. Uh, but when it comes to Joustis, especially at the beginning, it just felt so completely random. There was no way for me to get a strategy going. Um, as you can see, I, I won 108, I lost 37, I drew six times, and I completed everything. I did everything that there was to do in the game. So that that's that. Um, I feel like I should go back and turn in my remaining medals. Uh, to see what the bard has to say about that. But outside of that, I think we are good to go. It was, uh, it was enjoyable, but uh, something that I am happy to say is done. Uh, of course, we still have challenges to go through. Uh, we have showdown to go through. There's still work to do. Finally, after all my trials, everything is as it 
is as it ought to be. No fish, chickens, or musicians to bother me. My boots are clean of tropical spit, and I've rid my kingdom of every blast blasted justice card. Best of all, my castle is a gleaming shrine of golden opulence, a worthy monument to my grandeur. At long last, I can settle into my throne and bask in my own perfection. Now I'll be king forever. Until Shovel Knight comes through. Uh, but yeah, even King Knight did not like justice. I'm not sure what that means. What's this? Shovel Knight? And, like, he barely just sat down before Shovel Knight shows up? Interesting. Alright, so new game plus available. Um, challenge mode available. Sound test available. And all games cleared. Incredible, you've cleared every game in Shovel Knight. Treasure Trove, we have a special message for you. All games cleared. Yeah, this is the last one. They're not making any more. We Yacht Club Games extend to you our heartfelt congratulations. You have completed every Shovel Knight campaign, and that is no easy task. You're an amazing player. Thank you for sticking with it to the end. We appreciate your time and dedication. We'll see you on the next adventure. Until then, please continue to explore, play, and find every secret. They don't give me a different message for finding every secret? Because I did. And Shovel Knight Project uh, from 2013 to 2019. It was around for a while. This is a game that... They did not just release and leave alone. They continued to work on it. And that's admirable, I think. Um, but at the same time, it did feel like a, a little bit of rinse and repeat between all the different um, runs of the game. But of all of them, King Knight was the most different. But it still felt like a lot of rinse and repeat. Oh! I don't have to go through the game again? That is very nice of you. That is the one thing I have been needing in the other runs. But let's see, I have 25 medals to spare. The bard should have something to say to me for this. King Knight, ahoy, a vast bonjour. Any new merit medals? 135 merit medals? You're quickly becoming a bard in your own right. It's not much. 1,800 gold. I'll accept it. Tootie, every single merit, me merit medal collected. You've become a bona fide legend just by telling me your stories. Head over to the bow using your 25 spare medals. I've arranged a little surprise in your honor. Long live the king. All right, let's see what we have here. It's covering up my card one though. I don't know how to feel about that. Like you couldn't put it to the side so I could see both. Well, all right. But that is the game, so that is going to do it for Let's Play Shovel Knight King of Cards. When we come back, challenges. We'll see what awaits us. Of course, there will be some stuff that is difficult there because there were some things that were difficult to do as King Knight. And of course, we'll start using heirlooms in a way that I did not do in this run. But that is going to do it for Let's Play Shovel Knight King of Cards. I've been Bala Scoop. I've been joined, as always, by the champion, the king, King Knight. Hope you guys have enjoyed this Let's Play. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.